Hello. I recently upgraded uh, Paddle OCR uh, in Sparrow from 3.0 to 3.1, and initially it was not working uh, from fast API application. Uh, when I was running it from the script directly, it was working fine, but it was getting stuck when running directly uh, from fast API application. Then I found out that uh, I need explicitly to uh, specify uh, the model uh, which I would like to use for the text detection and recognition, then it starts to work fine. So I just want to share this quick tip in this video. So this is the example where I'm running uh, Paddle OCR 3.1, as you can see in the requirements file. And when <clears throat> inference request is uh, executed, uh, you can see that model uh, PP OCR V5 model mobile debt is being loaded and mobile rec. And in this case, uh, uh, inference was running in 7.87 seconds and uh, it was uh, successfully completed. And if you look into the response, it's over here. Available and yeah, so this is the request and this is the response that uh, uh, with all the text data extracted from the uh, input document, which is the bonds table. And uh, uh, OCR automatically counts the, there are 62 uh, words and the average confidence is 91%, which is uh, very good. And what I like uh, particularly about Paddle OCR that it's able to group uh, related words in a single uh, text group, like here bonds in similar positions, for example, then the pricing uh, and some other stuff also. So this, uh, when I pass this text in the next step to uh, Vision LLM along with original image for the Vision LLM, it's much easier to put this input because uh, the text is already grouped in logical blocks. Uh, instead of passing uh, each uh, word separately, for example. Okay, and let's look into the code. So the change is needed to um, to be made to run Paddle OCR uh, 3.1 in Paddle OCR model initialization uh, place. We uh, besides uh, those three uh, options, we need to include. Uh, uh, explicitly text detection model name and uh, text recognition model name and in my case I'm using uh, uh, OCR v5 uh, PP model so I explicitly mentioned those two models and then uh, OCR in 3.1 works without any issue the same like it was in version 3.0 okay and now let's Let's move uh, outside and over here. This is the uh, Sparrow instance. The code is available on GitHub. Already got 4.6 uh, thousand stars and hopefully we'll reach 5,000 at some point. So we'll be very happy about it if you're watching this video and you're interested in Sparrow, please go and uh, give a star to uh, Sparrow GitHub repo. This really helps to promote the project. And uh, over here we have a link uh, to the live uh, demo, or not demo, but actual production instance of Sparrow, the same code as, as, as you have here in the GitHub. And you can go uh, upload uh, document image or multi-page PDF, uh, put a query and uh, run it and test uh, see how the extraction works. In this case, I selected bond stable example, it's loaded here. Uh, this is the query which is being used to fetch the data and this is the result. Uh, so we get array of data with instrument name and uh, evaluation. Uh, evaluation is the number field and instrument name is a string. So thanks for watching. This is the quick video about Paddle OCR and uh, quickly introducing Sparrow again for those who are not familiar with uh, my solution for the 
data extraction. At the moment, I'm building and working on a new functionality in Sparrow, which will improve uh, large table processing, like uh, large bank statements, uh, financial reports, uh, uh, then any other kind of uh, statistical tables with large set of rows and columns. And particularly, it will improve processing of tables uh, with uh, uh, missing cells, uh, because uh, by default, Vision LM would struggle to process the table where uh, some cells uh, cells uh, doesn't have the values, and then it may hallucinate and assign incorrect value to the uh, cell, which actually should be empty. So I'm working on this and implementing this kind of functionality at the moment. So thanks uh, for watching. Enjoy the summer and have fun. See you next time. Bye.